Yo, what's going on boys? Second Popo here bringing another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. For this we're going over the new Admiral rank of it, which is just uh, with the new Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji, uh, where you're getting a guaranteed legend. Now to first go over the event, the first part about this event is that the people who are in the top 5,000 for each tier are going to be able to get a guaranteed legend pull, just like they were in the Admiral event. So if you get in the top 5,000 on the Luffy category campaign, get the top 5,000 on the Zoro campaign, and the top 5,000 on the Sanji campaign, you can do actually three multi pulls uh sorry, three single pulls for legends each one is a guaranteed legend so that's very very cool in addition to that they're actually adding something really really cool to this so the first thing they're adding is that in the top 2000 luffy is going to be a um another guaranteed legend pull zoro in the top 1000 is gonna be another legend pull and sanji in the top 100 will be another legend pull which is really 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 cool now um there are different kinds of rewards like uh, guaranteed skill books. We're getting um, lots more other rewards like there, like turtles and such. But you know, there's going to be tons of Chopper Man missions before this, um, up all the way up to 50 runs. And if you complete 25 of those runs, you get the new uh, Summertime Toshiki, which is a pretty cool unit. I mean, it's art. So there's that, um, and then there's half stamina times um, for three times, uh, three times throughout the week. Uh, one of those times for Zoro is really, really uh, late at night for people in the United States. Uh, Pacific, Pacific Standard Time, it's two o'clock in the morning, so that's really tough to do for the Zoro. But the Sanji and the Luffy are on um, on respectable times for people in the states. Uh, if you are anywhere else, then it should be okay times for you. Uh, there are a lot of boosts to this, this Fortnite, and that's basically what we're going to be talking about, uh, not Fortnite, but this island. Um, the sets of islands have uh, really, really cool boosts. Now, just like the last event, there was a list of legends, that uh, le legends, characters, and whatnot, that were boosted by 1.5, and that had all their cooldowns reduced by 10 turns. Now, no matter what version of that character, if it was named Enel, Enel got a boost, whether it was uh, the Raid Enel or the Legend Enel. I'm hoping it's going to be the exact same here, and if it is the exact same, which I'm not sure why they would change it, uh, it would be very, very cool. So that's a prior, uh, the primary thing we'll be talking about today. So what I've done is actually compiled a really nice spreadsheet for everybody. So if you want to have the link to the spreadsheet, go ahead and hit the link in the description down below. You'll be able to play with this at your own leisure. Now this spreadsheet allows you to figure out what character is boosted, what color it is, and actually sort by the color. So if you wanted to say, hey, I want to see what red characters I can bring to the the place you want to say okay what blue characters i wanted to bring you just sort by a to z on the blue column um you can sort okay i want to know i want to do a striker team what strikers are boosted and that, will, that allows you to do a lot of different types of teams a uh, question in the chat was the story ones as well as and yes um any type um from the last time we did the event any character with the same name if it was mihawk it's any version of mihawk if it was cavendish any version of cavendish etc that's how it was last time hopefully it'll be the same this time so it is i compiled the spreadsheet for everybody so you can actually build your teams and have a really easy way of doing so so uh, one of the nice things about this spreadsheet is that let's say you really want to make a fighter team because you have that G4 Luffy and you really want to punch the crap out of something. Well, hey, here are the boosted units that are going to have 1.5 stats. That's 1.5 times attack, 1.5 times um, HP, and 1.5 times recovery. So you get mad, insane meat or heals. You're going to get crazy high HP so you can soak lots of damage and tons more damage to last hit people with. So those, are the, those will allow you to do way, way more damage. Now, uh, just like the last event, they're actually going to make the units that are in the in this event be really, really optimal for speed teams for the uh, for the runs. So, if you did want to make sure that you have the best units possible, just make sure that um, you have some of these units in your team, and your your runs will go okay. Now, uh, this spreadsheet here allows you to uh, create your own teams and find out what the most optimal route is. So as you see over here, I have an almost optimal team for a slasher team over here. We have Kizaru Captain. So if I go, I'm going to go ahead and set up the, the slasher set right here. You can kind of see it. Um, here are all the slashers that are boosted. Uh, Kizaru is boosted. Cavendish is boosted. Um, Zo uh, Mihawk is boosted. Uh, Dofi is boosted. But Brook is not boosted. So there are five out of the six characters that are boosted. So it's an almost perfect team. So that by the, uh, by the by, that would be a really fun team to build for if you're trying to do this um, in a really short amount of time. Uh, another team to use that you could use is a Legend Enel team. Now this team is really hard to make, so if you don't have it, don't be bad. Um, you can actually use Legend Enel, double Legend Enel. You can use uh, Do you can use Doflamingo. You can use uh, Legend Boa and Miha. Uh, Quick Mihawk as well as um, Kizaru. This gives you chain boost, type uh, boost, orb boost, and um, guaranteed orbs on all six characters. 
So it's a very, very strong team uh, to, to build for. Very hard to build for. So just know that if you don't have this team, don't feel bad. Now, m most of the time what I do is actually bring Marco instead of Mihawk. That I might do depending on what we're going to do. But um, with this team, you can also bring the, um, the Blackbeard ship because it meets all the requirements. Another team you can actually use is a Croc team or Momonga team with an Inara uh, with Inarashi friend captain, or you can use uh, Croc friend captain, whatever you want to do. Um, if you're going to do that, then you can actually get a large amount of damage in here. I'd say if you're going to use an Inarashi friend captain, you have two characters that are not boosted because I do not believe Inarashi is boosted, uh, but Croc is. Now, uh, you'll get tons of damage on your Cerebral team. This is probably one of the least optimal teams, but it is a team that you can put together with a lot of free-to-play units, um, as well as um, some easy to get rare recruits that have been out for a long time. Uh, so it is a team, not the best team. It's probably one of the worst teams that you can make for Cerebral on this. Uh, one, another team you can use is this Powerhouse team over here. This team is going to be probably primarily rounded around a... Uh, what's it called? A... Um, a Luchi Captain and a Kainu Friend Captain. Uh, that allows you to have uh, two sets of Type Boost and two sets of Orb Boost and Orb Shuffle as well. So you can make sure they can get those Orbs from the, the Luchi. You can get Orbs guaranteed from uh, Fujitora. You can do lots of different things with damage and all the characters are boosted. So it's a really strong team. Now Garp is an interchangeable character. You don't have to have him on this team. There are other characters that you could bring here like Jabra if you wanted to. You could bring... Um, uh, Luchi, if you were bringing a Kainu captain, a Luchi friend captain, uh, you could bring or double a Kainu, depending on what you're gonna do. You could also bring Dante Jiao for the HP cut and damage reduction. Uh, you could bring uh, Blackbeard for another massive HP cut. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of different options here for the, the powerhouse team, so it's probably one of the stronger teams, especially if you're going up against quick uh, units when it comes to the fight. Um, not quick units, um, dex units when it comes to the fight. So definitely a very strong team for that. Another team you can use is a shooter team. Now this team is actually pretty interesting. Um, it does revolve around it does revolve a lot around these legends here, so which is kind of interesting. Uh, you can use a Kizaru captain, which is going to be your shooter captain, double Kizaru captain for this. Uh, you have guaranteed orbs in your whole team. Uh, you can use uh, Boa to give yourself a tight boost, which is blue, with blue and yellow units. Uh, you can use Kuma for reducing um, chain and bind, making sure that any chain or bind comes out, you're going to be okay. You have an orb boost from your, um, from your what's his name, uh, Vander... Man Augur, which is the only character that's not boosted on this team. Unfortunately, in the entire shooter column, there is actually only one orb booster, and it's Aokiji. And I, uh, I think, I think Aokiji's a, uh, no, no, he's a type booster. Sorry, there's only there aren't any shooter orb boosters that are boosted. Uh, there is another shooter type booster, but there's no shooter orb boosters that are boosted. <laughs> that's hard to say. It's a ton of orb boosters that are boosted. <laughs> Um, so it is difficult to build for as far as uh, shooters go. So just know that this is the best option that I could bring. And uh, Enel is there just because he's a cool leader to bring and does the, up to too many damage, bonus damage if you actually get it. Um, the nice thing about Enel for this, um, if you're a little skeptical about being Enel, is that anytime you have um, a boosted team, your recovery is boosted too. So just know if you're going to be bringing this um, Legend Enel team that I posted earlier, um, all your recovery is boosted by 1.5. So if you have 17, 27 recovery, boost that by 50%. Now you have much, much more. And that's including your friend captain too. My friend captain had 500 recovery. That's 2200 recovery boosted by 1.5. That brings me all the way up to 3000 recovery easily every single turn. So very, very strong in recovery. Um, just know that you will be okay there as far as recovery goes. Um, same with this Kizaru team, you'll have plenty of options there as well. Now, um, I just built Fuji this last Sugo, so if you haven't seen my Sugo video, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> um, but really interesting is that Fuji is actually one of the really good units for this, um, and he's a driven unit that is boosted, and there are a lot of other units that are boosted as well on his team. You can bring the Smoker for a driven boost, uh, you can even use the G5 Smoker as a so Smoker sub. Uh, if you wanted to, um, if you, need, you didn't have a great uh, sub, you had to use Shiki or something like that, you could do that way. Um, Caesar is, is boosted as well. Then we have uh, Dope Flamingo is also boosted as well as um, uh, Gecko Moria. The new Gecko Moria is also boosted. Gecko Moria, all, all, by the way, is my favorite character in Batch. So if you did see my Super Fist video, uh, I talked all about him there. He's an amazing unit. So just know that you have two turns of boost and, all, and it's very, very solid. So you have two turns of boost from him, two turns of boost from Caesar, uh, two orb boosts on two specific turns. So if you have, a, have to fight on a turn four and kill something, then a turn five and kill something, you can do that. And you have Fuji HP cuts along with it. So you have tons of uh, ways to get around a lot of mechanics. Also, a massive HP pool. So that is very, very, very cool. Um, 
and uh, that was that's basically going to include all the teams that we can use. Uh, there are some other teams you can use in the middle. So if you do have other teams you want to use, go ahead and put your comments in the, in the description down below. And tell me what teams you think you guys are going to use for the event. But uh, that's going to co conclude this video. So I am Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And have a great rest of your day. Peace.